question are all who prophesy prophets no all who prophesy are not prophets prophet is an office okay to carry the office of the prophet you need to know the realm okay the realm okay uh, prophets have ability to uh, see into the realm of the spirit they when they when they when they step into a place they, they will know all about the place including what is in this in the spiritual realm amen Ephesians 4 11 and truly he gave some that's why the the words in Ephesians 4 11 says he gave some not all eh? he gave some to be apostles to be prophets and some to be evangelists some to be pastors and teachers okay this is the fivefold ministry okay to bend the hand like that and give the devil a fivefold punch that's what fivefold ministry is for amen to build the house of god to build the church of god why why we are here we are not we are not special you know uh we are not bigger than you <laughs> we are we are put here to build the church of god up to give you all a revelation knowledge about the kingdom to to keep stirring up the fire so you have you come close to god amen all right let's go on eh huh? i'm going to go very fast <coughs> now looking at uh, keys to the prophetic how many of you all speak in tongues tongues is unknown language okay tongues is a heavenly language uh tongues is a supernatural language and uh, when 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 you speak uh in tongues you're speaking the language of angels you're speaking to god all right and the, and the devil hates tongues you know uh, one demon told me stop that tongue don't speak that tongue i hate that <coughs> they hate tongues why because the demons don't understand what they're actually communicating but actually what you're communicating is mysteries in the spirit amen when the more you speak in tongues i encourage you i you know i speak in tongues all the time i i i drive in the car i speak in tongues sometimes uh, in the in the bathroom i speak in tongues sometimes in my private prayer i speak in tongues you know uh, uh now a bit sane la i used to be very crazy uh, so much of hunger and uh, uh passion for god's presence 2 o'clock in the morning i go to the park <laughs> i go there walking around like a madman speaking in tongues oh it was a powerful experience that's why i met a lot of angels you know uh, uh just to make you excited huh when i go to a certain place in the park and I, and i kneel down like that you know i pray there 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 will be two angels one on my right and one on my left kneeling down and doing the same thing they also will be praying powerful the christian life is a supernatural life the christian life is a not normal mundane religious life it is a supernatural life is given to you to experience the supernatural the supernatural is your birthright you know god gave it it's for you so the prophetic <coughs> let's look a little bit uh, in, about speaking in tongues huh what speaking in tongues will do speaking in tongues will open is a door to open the prophetic when when you speak in tongues you speak mysteries to god and god communicates back to you in revelation where does the revelation flow from the revelation will flow from god's word amen 
First Corinthians 14 2 it says like this for he who speaks in tongue does not speak to men but to God for he no one hears but in the spirit he speaks mysteries okay tongues is communication from God to men what it will do it edify you it edi uh, it's a it's edification to the person okay if you if you are faithful in that one then what what will happen is prophetic gifting will begin to operate in your life amen and uh, and what is prophetic gifting what is prophecy is communication from god to men okay for the purpose of edifying the church amen so don't misinterpret edifying means uh, you always get nice nice things <coughs> okay edify could also mean some correction might come from heaven you're secretly living in sin my brother my sister you have uh, uh, issues with god you have issues with church leadership you have issues in the marriage you have issues with finances you have uh, a health challenge that no one knows he kept quiet the the cause of it could be okay i'm not saying it is the cause of it could be okay some rebellious nature towards god Amen. So what happens? Sometimes uh, God tries to speak to you. <coughs> you would not listen. <coughs> or, or maybe you don't know it is God's voice. God tried to speak to you, you will not listen. Then the pastor goes up on the pulpit, he shares a message. <coughs> God sends you a coded message through the preaching of the word, you still cannot listen. Lastly before God God loves you so much he wants to bring a warning he wants to tell you you know please repent before it's too late he wants to tell you the devil is on your doorstep watch out he wants to tell you don't sign this business deal you're going to get cheated he wants to tell you god's attacking your marriage god uh, sorry devil's attacking your marriage devil's attacking your health he want to tell you first first attempt fail <laughs> direct god's uh, 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 perfect will is always to communicate directly fail second comes through the word of god fail third he sends a prophet you go for altar call you get your hands laid on <laughs> and everything comes out prophet normally uh, is a, is last attempt by god to cause you to turn your course so sometimes uh, that's why uh, Uh, prophets are rejected prophets are persecuted you see them all in the bible no uh, no prophet in the bible ever had a good time <laughs> they all got persecuted shot upside down killed thrown in the well read read jeremiah huh? uh, then uh, prophets have to con uh, contend with false prophets amen yeah there's one thing i want to tell you you know we are we are already approaching the end times Okay. In the end times there will be a lot of false prophets. In order to know who they are, in order to know how do they operate, in order to know whether you are deceived or not, that is why you need to be operating in the prophetic. Understand? Okay? If you never learn how to ride a bicycle, somebody might just bring a, a horse and say that's the bicycle you will believe <laughs> ride the horse like a bicycle you can ride it you will believe because you never rode a bicycle before 
So that is why God is giving in the, these end times, He's pouring out His Spirit. You know, just take it, just receive it. Don't treat the gifts of the Spirit in unbelief, please. I beg you, please. We are already in the last days. The last of the last days. Amen. All you that you see in the news, all that you see uh, in, the, in the screens has already been prophesied. Amen. Okay, I'm, I'm coming to the most important part. Just yes, I, I rush through the front part. If you, if you want to know about the gifts, go back uh, to the Bible. You can read uh, uh, all the, about the gifts in 1 Corinthians 14. You can read all about the gifts. Alright. But uh, Apostle Paul encourages... All right. He who prophesies, speaks, edification, exhortation, and comfort to men. That is the benchmark for prophecy. Okay. Prophecy is not supposed to bring condemnation. Never. Prophecy is supposed to bring conviction. Because uh, the three ministry of the Holy Spirit got three ministry in the world. To one... One of it is to bring what? Conviction of sin, judgment and righteousness. Amen. Why, why God want to, uh, to bring back the ministry of the prophets in the world? Because people can't hear the voice of God. Even, even though Jesus said in John 10, 27, My sheep shall hear my voice. My sheep is supposed to hear my voice. Sending the prophet is the secondary will. The primary will is you are supposed to hear the voice of God. Because people can't hear the voice of God, that is why the prophetic. That is why prophets. Okay? The category one, people can hear the voice of God. They can, they can decide, they can go. Category uh, number two, people hear the voice of God. They do, are not sure that it is God's voice. Amen? Why they are not sure of God's voice? Because they are not fluent in the word of God. The word of God is the will of God and the will of God is the mind of God. There's no change about that. It's never changed for the last 3,500 years. Amen? That's why when I read the Bible, I like Noah. Of all the heroes of faith, I like Noah. Why I like Noah? Because Noah didn't have a church. Noah didn't have a community. Noah didn't have a prophet to come and prophesy and say, Hey, what God is? That is God. That is God speaking to you. No, 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 no. Noah didn't have all that. Okay? Noah was willing to pay the price. Noah was an agricultural man. God turned him into an architect. To build a mega project for 120 years. Imagine that. Uh, what mega project is 120 years? The ark. 120 years. Hmm? For every part of the project, Noah has to go into this. I don't know where he goes. Up on the mountain or into the, into the jungle. Okay, to ask God. I never done this before. How do I do it? <laughs> God said, hey Noah, go, in, go into the jungle and find uh, this tree called gopher. If you, if, you, if, you, if you followed me to Sarawak and climb the prayer mountains in Sarawak, in the middle of the jungle, you six hours walk up there, uh, there are practically thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of trees for all kinds of use. Alright, there's only one old man, they call him the scientist, la, okay? One old man. That old man practically memorized what every tree is for. So, so God told, tells Noah, go into the jungle, Noah, and find this gopher wood. Lord, why gopher wood? Noah, God says that is waterproof wood. That is the wood that will float. Go find it. Imagine. Ark is built. 
now go now god said no ah building the ark is not enough what to prove the ark <laughs> go and find for ta and pitch so that tells me the ark was built in the land of chinna in the middle of iraq somewhere that's where the ta and pitch are abundant all right uh, you know uh, noah didn't, didn't no saw no nail right i like carpentry <laughs> i'm not just a pastor i can do carpentry i can do electrical i can do plumbing i can do welding i got a lot of skills in my hand i i know what carpentry is all about and god tells this man build an ark there was no nails no saw no 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 saw mill it's you know you know just with the pickaxe okay la all done la somehow the man managed to pull the 120 year old mega project okay managed to pull it off you know 120 years they all the people around him mocking him saying hey you crazy old man you're building a boat in the middle of the desert where is the rain going to come you know why because they never seen rain the bible says the earth was watered by dew that came down from heaven in the morning and when the sun rises up the dew is lifted you know people would have said you crazy old man you gila ha huh? you you gila you buat ini ini sampan tengah padang gurun hey noah you me ota center <laughs> are you okay are you right up there who in heaven's name will build a boat in the middle of a desert then done ha huh? the boat is built okay now is to bring the animals in god i don't know animal language how how do i do get the job done lord i don't know animal language. i don't know what the giraffe speak do they say good morning good afternoon what do i do lord so god said noah you stand at the door i will i will bring the animal in the animal went in two by two hurrah hurrah hallelujah they went in okay so all the animals went in ready now got one one big very big headache la very very big headache okay you know the door that they built at the entrance it's so huge no human hand can lift the door what happened it took a divine intervention from god to shut the door okay then they were on for a sale noah key what is the what is, what what am i trying to tell you what is the key uh, substance in this story line is called obedience Oh, only the obedient will enter into the ark only the obedient will will be taken up and rapture comes because rapture is very near i dreamed the body one day the 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 shofars were blowing i was flying in the sky shofars were blowing i know it's a rapture okay so rapture is very near <coughs> you know either you will be raptured or you will be captured <laughs> if you like the slogan make a t-shirt and walk uh, walk around with it huh okay either you will be raptured or you will be captured to face the antichrist but before that false prophets will appear on the face of the earth that's why uh, beloved you need to learn how to move in the prophetic what the prophetic will do prophetic will give you razor sharp discernment okay you will be able to know okay deception you will be able to know revelation you will be uh, be accurately tuned into god's perfect will you will uh, uh, be forewarned yeah so you can be a blessing all right so one of the main ingredients in the prophetic all right 
Actually, the, the, the subject is very big. You can do a three-day seminar because the, the scope of the prophetic is so large. All right? God speaks through visions. God speaks through dreams. God speaks through an audible voice. God speaks through a still small voice. You know, uh, uh, to me, God has spoken through a still small voice. You know, uh, one day what happened, my mother and me, we were going in my friend's car. My car had an accident. So my friend borrowed his car. His car had a master pump problem. You know master pump? <laughs> Alright? Uh, the master pump was leaking. So, so he told me, you know, you can drive this car. But make sure every one hour f refill the brake oil barrel. Because my light also won't come off. All right? So they put me a head intercessors, a, a very big meeting. Yeah. So after that, I had to send my sister and my brother in law back to Nilai. So I'm coming. On the way back, I decided to take a detour, take a shortcut, so I can come out, go to uh, Old Airport Road and go back home. La. I was going, car was going. Suddenly the spirit say, son, turn around. I thought, no, la. Uh, I'm just imagining. The voice is getting louder, son, turn around. Second time, huh? I said, no, la, it's okay, la, Lord, this, this, this uh, route will take me faster home. The, the, the third time, the voice became louder, son, turn around! <laughs> and so anybody got weak heart here? <laughs> so okay, Lord, okay. As I was turning like that, the the headlight hit a big hole in the road. You know, if I had ignored the voice of the Holy Spirit. I'd be dead right now. Here lies Pastor Judah Henry. And mother included. So, prophetic starts with coming to the place of hearing the voice of God. You know? Don't, don't put your expectation too high that the sky will split and then God said, No! Here! I am God, I'm speaking. No, no, no. God, God speaks to us a little at a time in our everyday life. Little at a time. Normally it starts with a small thing. Huh? The Holy Spirit sees you obey or not. When, when you begin to obey, even the, the small thing that God tells you, small thing, he will begin to speak bigger thing, bigger thing, bigger thing, bigger thing, bigger things. Until you're so tuned into heaven, sometimes God doesn't speak at all. <laughs> but because you have reached a place that you are so now in tune to God and you are so connected to God, okay, you will know in your spirit. God is happy or not? You know in your spirit. You know in your spirit, this is what God wants me to do. This is what I should be doing. This is not what I should be doing. This is not the person I should be going to see. You know, sometimes God says all that. Sometimes God tells me, you know, today don't go and see that person. So you have to come to a place of obedience. That's why I'm going to close shortly. Huh? Okay. Important, important. Hearing the voice of God in the, in the last days is top priority. It is important. Amen. That's why Jesus said, my, what? My? My? My sheep. Hear my voice. Okay? And I know them and they follow me. There are three things here. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. Right? Why didn't it say here, my goats 
hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. Actually, I didn't bring the, 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 the documentary. They interviewed uh, uh, a guy who raised sheep and goat. You know, you know what the guy says? Goats are hard of hearing. Goat, goat got an independent mind. I had an uncle who raised goats. They have an independent mind. They cannot be shepherded. Huh? They are independent animals. At sunrise, you open the door for them. Tick tock, tick tock, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. They all go out of, of, of their kandang. <laughs> they go. They will graze where they want. They will go where they want. They will loiter where they want. They will mix around with whoever, other animal, what they want. Exactly at sunset when the sun is coming down. Trip, trap, trip, trap, tick tock, tick tock, trip, trap, trip, trap. All will come in one line and bow down to the shepherd, say hello, and then go into their house. Cannot be shepherded. Goats are very stubborn. Goats, goats uh, never listen to the shepherd. But a sheep does. <coughs> that is why uh, Jesus said, I am the great shepherd. I shepherd only sheep. I don't shepherd goats. Anyway, uh, the international symbol for Satanism is the head of goat. Go and research and see. Why did the Satanists choose the head of the goat? Because they know the Bible more than Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Goat represents rebellion. Okay? So you want to move in the prophetic, fantastic, good desire, but you need to get this right. It's called hearing the voice of God. Or you'll be hearing other voices and giving people false counsel. It's called divination. It's a spirit. It's like a fortune-telling spirit. That is the spirit Apostle Paul cast out from the girl. <laughs> okay? Who were crying out behind them. Fantastic apostles. Great apostles. They are the men of God. Wonderful. These, that. Fantastic. All the stars are all, all coming out. But she had a spirit of divination. Hmm? So hearing the voice of God. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. I know them talk about intimacy. In the in the in the, in the Greek, okay? In the Greek, no means genosko. What is genosko? Genosko means as a man knows his wife. Intimacy. Alright? I know when my wife will tick. I know when my wife will talk. I know when my wife will be silent. You know, all her bodily gestures and signals have meanings. I'm supposed to know. As a husband, I'm supposed to know. In the same way, intimacy means you have to have an intimacy with Jesus like that. A close relationship with your God. Oh, it will spell trouble. Amen. Everybody very silent now. I'm frightening you all. Huh? No, I'm telling you the truth. Because only the truth can set you free. Amen. I'm, I'm called to the prophetic office because I'm not a motivational speaker. I tell you as it is. Accept it or reject it. <laughs> At your cost. <coughs> Alright. Intimacy. Third is, they... Follow me. What does it mean? Follow me means the, means uh, is, is talk about total obedience, void of self choices. Uh, Sometimes in, in in following Jesus, you have to kill your ambitions also. I killed my ambitions a long time ago. I ran away from God for twenty years. God said, "Come into the ministry." No, Lord, pastors are poor, not enough for money. I want to make money. I want to be rich. A few of my exams, I, I, I can go up to operational manager and hire. You know, I ran away from God for 20 years. At the age of 38, the call caught up with me. You know why? <laughs> because my, when I was in my mother's womb, God, my mother dedicated me to God. And I, at the age of 38, God said, I've called you as a prophet to the nations. 
Okay? 20 years, God allowed, run baby, run. run. Age 38, call caught up with me. Uh, God shut all the employment doors. Imagine, uh, what is the probability of 200 applications for a job and not answered? What's the probability? <laughs> Every day, pu putting applications in job street, like you're putting uh, coins in the vending machine to get a can of Coke, nothing. The, the, the last job I took almost cheated me. You know, I, I, have, I have a habit. Before I go to work, there was a big park okay, near my office. I go, I go to the park. My, my work starts at 8. I go to the park at 6. I walk and I talk with God. I tell God all my problems. I tell God all my challenges. I tell God what I'm going through the inside. Everything. You know, I can almost uh, be become naked before my creator. You have to come to that kind of level. Then uh, uh, I close my eyes in a vision. Jesus appeared to me in a huge silhouette, very huge silhouette. Okay, silhouette means I can't, can't see his face. I can only see his shape. And he said, you are resigning today. <laughs> Come follow me. Then only, eh? this one God or devil? Devil doesn't turn up at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> His shift ends at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> God stay. Today resign and come follow me. Alright? I'm the only guy who <laughs> got all my salary. After my batch, everybody got cheated because it's a contractual position. See that? Sometimes God will, will say, uh, you know, one day the Holy Spirit say, go to the mechanic, go to the mechanic, go to the mechanic. I say, what Lord, today, Saturday morning, go to the mechanic, what do you expect me to do? I'm tired. I just came back from ministry last night, I'm tired. Go to the mechanic. Okay, okay Lord, take the car, go to the mechanic. You know what? The mechanic opened the back wheel. After that, he was cold sweat. I say, why? What's wrong with my car? He say, no, if you, if you come another one day late, you'll be dead. I said, why? You know, both your master pump at the back has jammed. Both. One master pump, uh, that, so that small pump at the, you know, the back wheel is always, uh, there's a small little thing, uh, sorry, brake pump, okay, jammed. If I've gone a little bit late, here lies Pastor Judah Henry. Nice white tombstone somewhere. See, see, so you see, hearing the voice of God is that important. Very, very important. Okay, and when you, when you, when, when you move in the prophetic, that is the key. When you learn, begin to come to a place of obeying God, okay, because God only reveals his secret to those who love him. La. Amen? I've, I've, I've come to a point, sometimes I go into prayer, I don't ask God anything. I say, God, I don't want anything. I just want you. I'm here for you. I'm here to just fall in love with you. I'm here to listen to you. I know you know all my needs. <coughs> right? So come to that place, hearing the voice of God. Amen. So for further, we want to know further, go and read the entire 14th chapter of Corinthians. And you'll understand how important it is and uh, uh, to begin to move in the gifts of prophecy. What are the gifts of prophecy? The exhortation. Uh, building up the church and encouraging people. These three things. Amen. So that's my message for this morning. I hope you're blessed. You know, when I get up to heaven, I want to see every face. When the when the when the when the angel cries out, "Welcome, Sramban Life Assembly," 
ഈ സ്രംഭൻ ലൈഫ് അസംബ്ലി ആ പ്രിച്ച് ബിഫോർ ആ Amen. Are you all blessed? Amen. So, so, today is the second month of the new year. Make it a point every day to spend time with God. Uh, God has got a very beautiful plan for your life. Okay? God got a heavenly agenda for you. God has got a heavenly destiny for you to fulfill. You need to know what it is. To know that you have to come into the depth of God's presence so that in your life you can go up to the next level. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Father. in the name of jesus christ i pray for every person here lord that today the prophetic anointing will just fall on their lives i pray for limitations to be broken and destroyed by the fire of god i pray for challenges to disappear i pray for their health to be totally recovered in the name of jesus lord if there's anybody here lord who is facing some kind of demonic challenges let the challenges break in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for the supernatural anointing according to isaiah 10:27 to fall like a fire right now and to destroy every yoke Amen. on the lives of the people thank you lord roko bo ribaka rika baka rakaba 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 let's all stand up I just want to sing a song for you before I come down you know put all your bags everything put it put it on the chair raise up your hands to heaven mm, okay hallelujah. and begin to seek God <coughs> cry out to God like you never cried before thank you holy spirit we are dependent on you holy spirit we need you holy spirit hallelujah He touched me Oh he touched me And oh the joy that floods my soul Something happened and now I know touch me and made me whole shackled by a heavy burden need the lord of guilt and shame then Jesus touch me and now I'm no longer the same come on sing with me he touch me oh he touch me and oh the joy that floods my soul something happened something happened and now i know jesus touched me and made me whole give a lot of clap offering this morning <laughs> hallelujah amen you know you can i pray for them you know if you need prayer please come line up in the front amen pastor sen got nothing but jesus got everything amen jesus got everything jesus has what you need i don't have anything my hands are empty okay i'm going to lay these empty hands in on your head <coughs> 
and expect God to touch you. You know, there are some people here who have a very bad back pain. They have a very bad spine issue. Please come forward. Amen. Some here got a heart condition. Please come forward. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Just stand in a line. I want the usherers to just stand behind them. You know, to help me to catch if they fall. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened. And now I know Jesus touched me. And made me whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Magane told him, flood him. Flood him. Flood him with the Holy Spirit. Rika baka raka baraka ba. I pray for a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Raka baraka ba. Raka baraka ba. I pray for difficult challenges in his work. To just be lifted like a cloud. Rakaba, rakaba. Supernatural breakthrough, Lord. Go with him to his workplace. Rakaba, rakaba, rakaba. Rakaba, rakaba, rakaba. More and more and more and more and more of you, Lord. Rakaba, anointing, 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 anointing. It just began to flood. Begin to flood. Begin to flood, anointing just begin to flood in the name of Jesus. Rika baka raka baraka 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 fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Rika baka raka baraka 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 All forms of fear leave her right now in the name of Jesus. Rika anxiety go in Jesus' name. I pray for the peace of God to just begin to flood, my dear sister, right now. In the name of Jesus. Rakaba, 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 rakaba. Touch! Touch! In Jesus' name. Rikaba, karakaba. Raise your hand. Okay, raise your hand. Put one hand on your, on your back. According to Romans 8, 11. I thank you, Lord. The Bible says the same power that raised Jesus from the dead and he's able to give life to the mortal body, began to flow from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I command every bone on his spine to align itself and come back to normal right now in the name of Jesus. Pain disappear. All 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 pain all pain back be healed in the name of Jesus. Back be healed in the name of Jesus. Rakaba rakaba. Rakaba rakaba. Rakaba rakaba rakaba. Rakaba rakaba. Rakaba rakaba. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go back home. You test yourself and see. Bend down. And see. There will be no more pain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Touch my dear sister in Jesus' name. Rika baka raka ba raka ba. Roko bo roko bo roko bo roko bo. Roko bo roko bo roko bo. More and more and more and more of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. More of you. 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 <coughs> Your life has been in bitterness and in pain. Now I see a lot of flowers all around you. You know your life is going to be blooming again. Raka baraka. Lord, I thank you. You love her so much. I pray even right now for the Father's love just to begin to flow, 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 flow into her heart. Help her in the areas, oh Lord, that she is Fill her Holy Spirit.
spirit with encouragement fill her holy spirit fill her holy spirit fill her holy spirit fill her holy spirit fill her right now i pray for a fresh touch of the holy spirit roko bori baka roko bori baka roko bori baka roko bori baka sagodriya todum in jesus name todum touch 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 healing resurrection power begin to flow through her womb area and begin to heal her womb right now in jesus name rika baka raka fire 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 of the holy spirit agni 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 abhishekam ipolude magal mel irangum padi kattal edukra andavara rika baka raka 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 baka fresh touch fresh touch fresh touch on this boy in the name of jesus rika baka raka baka roko bo 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 roko touch him lord use him mightily lord use him mightily in the medical field in jesus name rika baka raka baka raka baka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka father in this young age like samuel cause him to hear your voice cause him to see your face cause him to experience your presence rika baka raka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka raka baka in jesus name amen no he will be a doctor he will be a doctor and he will save many many life god going to use him in the medical field ha huh? what's your name ha huh? mitranj ha huh? mitranj what's that mitranj i i call you dr mitranj ha huh? you be you going to be doctor okay ha huh? uh, you know uh, breakthrough uh, medicines solutions for uncurable diseases is going to come out 